All right, I've been trying to wait out this rain, but the animals are hungry. And so I'm gonna take you guys along with the umbrella and we're just gonna go feed everyone. Welcome back to Count It All Joy. Thank you guys for stopping by today's video. I am gonna give you guys an update of Gabby today. And then if this Wayne, Wayne, if this rain starts cooperating with me, I'm also wanting to finally get the camper completely cleaned out. So we have some future plans for it. And so I need to just take some time and get like the last final things out of there and make sure it's good to go. So let's go feed the animals and see how everyone's doing this morning. Good morning, Bubba. You look so wet. Hold on just a second, okay? Let me get your food. Hey, I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a second so I can get you a couple scoops. Honey, you're getting mud all over me. Okay, eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast so you can go back and get in get in your little shelter out of the rain. You two don't mind the rain, do ya? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Your pond's filling up, or your little waller. You guys hungry? So we have a little problem right here with this feeder. Someone has got a little aggressive and ripped the fence there. So we're gonna have to fix that. Ugh, I'm gonna have to put the camera down, try to dump these out so their food's not getting soaked. Hold on. All right, we got Pearl and Percy's breakfast going. We're gonna have to try to repair that spot in the fence and then move that feeder. So just too much force and pressure with him hitting it and it just broke a couple of the parts of the fence. You two look pitiful. Have you not been getting under your shelter this morning? My goodness, you are filthy. Okay, let's go down the fence and I'll go give you some oats, okay? Okay? I'll we'll have to get your hair brushed when this rain stops. Come on, let's go get some oats. Come on. You'll see them coming behind me, I'm sure, here in a minute. Oats is their favorite. They come running for it. If I put hay out, they pass it up and come eat their oats first. So, see if we see them. There they are. I'm gonna get their little bowls dumped out too so their oats aren't getting so soaking wet. Hey, there's two feeders. Someone's gonna have to, there you go. Someone has to give up and go down to the other one. You boys are filthy. Okay, I'm gonna go get your hay feeder cleaned out a little bit and you guys will have some hay down there waiting on you, okay? All right, enjoy your oats. Yeah, so there's only one little hole here in this feeder and if it gets clogged up, everything doesn't drain very well. So you can tell by that, we got a couple inches of rain for sure. So I'm gonna unplug that so that way I can let that drain out. Actually, now that I tipped it, I see there are two small holes, <clears throat> but they just get clogged up with hay and everything else. So it's hard for it to drain. So I'm gonna get the rest of that water out of here. Grace, you taking a little sip? Yeah. All right, I'm making my way over here to see if Gunner ate his food. Sometimes he kind of just snacks on it and doesn't eat it all right away, so I'm gonna see if he finished it or not. Baby boy, eat your food, honey, so it doesn't get all yucky and wet. Eat your food. I need to get you some more water in your bowl. Oh my goodness. You got mud all over me again. He can't control his old fat paws, so they just sling mud everywhere. Honey, show you guys. Look at me from this little man. Crazy. He just can't control his big paws when they come up on the fence. Mud just slings everywhere. Oh my goodness. Keep your muddy paws to yourself, sir. Hey, I'm gonna go get the hose and fill you up and give you some water. It's crazy, it's raining, I need to fill up your water, but we want you to have some fresh water. That one's got some mud in it. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? Eat your breakfast. 
All right, well, after I go get myself cleaned up from all this mud, um, I'm gonna see how the weather's looking. I'll either go inside with Gabby and give you guys an update, or I might have her um, come out on the porch with me. That might be the best. So um, stay tuned and we will see how Gabby's doing. Let you guys know. Hey, baby. Okay, so <laughs> Gabby, are you looking at the camera? Okay, so hope it's not too windy for you guys. <clears throat> on video here. It feels really nice this afternoon and Gabby isn't getting to go outside that much um, since her heartworm treatment. So I thought maybe her and I would just come out here and visit with you guys and let you know how she's doing. So Gabby <clears throat> has been doing very well. For those of you who are just tuning in or who didn't know, Gabby had unfortunately had heartworms and so we had a treatment done for her. She had an oral treatment done a couple months ago and then just last week, we took her in for her injection treatments and a medication that kills the adult heartworms. And then over the next month or few weeks, her body will get rid of those worms. Nope, see right here, Gabby. So as part of that, we have to keep her inside with a lot, a lot less activity than she's used to. Uh, they don't want us to get her heart rate up or anything like that. Um, that can very negatively affect her and be life-threatening to her. So, Gabby's been doing good. I think she's been enjoying being inside, maybe just having a little mommy break from Gracie. Sit. Okay, so Gabby's not feeling like sitting right now, so I'm just kind of holding her on her leash and letting her stand up and enjoy the nice breeze. But as I was saying, we're having to change up Gabby's whole normal daily routine. She just has to stay in most of the day we only let her go out to go potty she goes out she comes right back in <clears throat> we haven't been letting her interact with gracie or with lily a lot because they get her riled up and get her heart rate up and that's really dangerous for her during this treatment so gabby's just been enjoying her time inside kind of just lounging eating sleeping resting all of that fun stuff so i don't know long term i think it might be hard to put her outside after she's gonna, you know, spend all this time inside with us, but she does enjoy being outside too. So I feel like maybe we'll start kind of doing both. Um, Gracie is a little more wild inside. Gabby is very well mannered, behaved. If she needs to go potty, she goes and scratches at the door. Um, she's just used to being an inside dog more than Gracie has been. But that's the update on her. Thank you guys so much for your thoughts and your prayers. And we'll just keep, you know, keep you guys updated if anything changes with her. But we're just continuing to give her her oral steroids. She's taken those every day, twice a day for a week. And now, actually tomorrow, we'll start tapering off where she'll just get one a day. And she'll slowly taper off of those steroids. So, yep, there's our pretty girl. Gabby. Hey, Gabs. Gab. Can you tell everyone thank you? Oh, what do you see? She sees a little bee. Gabby, can you tell everyone thank you for their thoughts and prayers? We know that you guys get, love Gabby just as much as we do. She's been such a big part of our channel and a part of our lives for eight years now. And so she's just one year younger than Hope. And so we've had Gabby a long time and we hope we continue to have her for a lot longer. So we definitely wanna make sure this treatment goes well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her inside and let her do some more resting, right Gabs? All right, so before I started on the camper, I decided I was gonna wait for my little helpers to get out of school. Hayden is having a sleepover with her Nana, and so I've recruited Hope and Hadley. We're gonna go in there, see what else we have left. I've put some sticky traps for mice in there and some different stuff like that. So hopefully we don't find any little garments. Garments? Garments? I garments in there. But yeah, we're just gonna see what else we have to get out of there. Hopefully we can get it clean pretty quickly. And then I'm gonna spray some cleaner if I need to let it sit in there for a little bit and then I'll come back and touch all that up. But we're hoping to get this out to the creek property. So you guys ready to help me? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. You guys glad to not be living in here? Yeah, it's kind of fun. It was kind of fun? It echoed. Okay, so we kind of just have some random stuff I've went through. Helly, what's on the back of your shirt? Is it wet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, you can see there's kind of just some piles of some different stuff as I've been sorting through stuff. 
but we're gonna see what else we need to get out of here. Pretty much everything, but I just don't know if it has a home. Um, honey, it's pretty much empty in there. Let's see. Do you see any mice on any sticky traps or anything? There's sticky traps. Wait, yeah, there? I've set some down. Okay, so yeah, there's Wait. pretty much cleaned out in their bedroom, but there are a few things we need to get. Look, here's Betty's feather, and look, this is from a long time ago. Bobby's feather. Aww. That I saved. What's that, baby? That's Hayden's just too close. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll go get those baskets so we can put some of our stuff in them, okay? okay. Go get me the baskets. All right, can you get me Hayden's stuff that's off of this bed? Mm -hmm, and put it in a basket. Yeah, let's put it in a basket. That'll just be Hayden's stuff, so she'll be able to go through it. Maybe, um, yeah, you got to kind of think through. Oh, I hear a turkey trying to get in here. Yeah. Is that hers too? Yeah. This is all hers on her bed. Okay, I think we're going to have to organize a little differently in these baskets, or we're going to run out of baskets really quick. Is that her little squishies? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down and help you. Everything's cleaned off this bed. Everything's cleaned off this bed. Everything's out of the drawers. And out of these drawers. There's three. Everything's cleaned up. Mm-hmm. Even up there. So pretty much everything is cleaned out except like this is all cleaned out. We just need to move it to our house. All right. So I think Hope was just showing you guys their bedroom, but I'm going to flip it around in case you missed anything and just let you see how, how it's looking. All right. So that was Hadley's bunk. Nothing up there. This was Hope's bunk. It's all empty. All their drawers and little closets are all empty. Got all that empty. This was Hayden's bunk. And so we have the items that we need her to go through to see what she wants to keep. And then um, we have this couple items here. But other than that, the whole room is cleaned out. So it'll be ready for its next adventure, whatever we decide to do. So I'll still need to do some deep cleaning in here. But as far as everything that was our personal items, everything's out of the bathroom. Everything's out of the cabinets. So, yep, that'll just be ready for some like deep cleaning. So, Dutch and I's bedroom, I've cleaned it quite a while ago. And so it has everything out of the cabinets and everything. There are some things under the bed where it's like a storage area. Um, put some more light in here. There is like the little storage under area under there that has some things in it. So I can't forget about that. But as far as the bedroom goes, everything's out. Okay, so this main living area, as you can see, lots of things. Um, there's lots of tubs over here that are full of stuff, but as far as all of these loose items, I just need to go through them with the girls and see we want what we want to keep, what we don't need to keep, kind of let some things go. But this is the area that I need to do the most decluttering on. Okay, so like I showed you, I'm down to this main living area. I've brought everything in here. It's in little stacks and piles that we need to go through and decide what we're going to keep, what we're going to give away, what we're going to throw away. So I will finish that up and I will show you guys on the next video a completely empty camper, how it looks, and then keep you guys updated on our future plans for the camper. So thanks again so much for thinking about Gabby and praying for her. We really do appreciate it. You guys know that she's a big part of our family and we hope to have her around for a really long time. So continue to pray that her treatment goes well. And thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.